Today I'm going to show you how you can send over your DAS characters to Roblox Studio to make them playable characters within Roblox. This is quite exciting. I've got my buddy Wagner over here. Something appears to have gone wrong with his hair, but let's not hold that against him. All the other things have come in just fine. Shoes, jacket, pants, and of course himself and all his skin texture. So very, very cool. So in Roblox Studio, I can now go and play this level, approach this fantastically looking capsule here, press E to jump in and go roll down this crazy slide. And <laughs> eventually I'm going to end up on some kind of a target. And what should happen is, yes, yes, come on. And, and yes, confetti. It's exciting. It's exciting. This is this has worked well. I can get out and I can go and run around. I can jump. He's, he's happy. Wagner's happy. Let me go and show you how to make this happen with Das Studio and Roblox Studio. Our journey naturally begins in Das Studio and I've got our new girl Elena over here. She's wearing the DeForce AH Retro Radiance outfit for Genesis 9 and I'm also using hair from the cartoon adult female 2 character by 3D Universe. So that's just the hair that I'm using here and the flip-flops because, you know, flat shoes are always nicer than high heels. They always cause problems, don't they? And that is what I'm going to go and send over to Roblox now. As I've explained in the previous video, you have to have a copy of Blender installed as well as Roblox Studio, of course, and then the Dash to Roblox packages with Install Manager. Once you select the top node of your character here, head over to File, Send to, Send to Roblox. I'm going to go and leave all the defaults more or less in place. I'm going to go pick a new folder on my desktop here and select it. I'm going to give it a name called Elena in this case. Under asset type, I'm going to pick complete character and outfit, and that'll generate multiple files. One just for the avatar that we can then go and import into Roblox Studio, and another one just for the accessories that we can then go and split out in Roblox Studio. So very handy to do that. Breast Gone Morph is an option if you have male characters or if you don't want to risk account bans. This can happen really easy. Not so much on geometry, but certainly on textures, which is why the bridge applies a modesty overlay on the textures so that you don't get flagged. Even though I've had account warnings before, it does happen. They do go away very quickly if you abide by the Roblox terms and conditions. So that's very important. Bots are very overzealous these days. I'm going to leave everything else uh, as defaults. The only thing that I need to specify is the Blender executable and, of course, my intermediate folder, which needs to be writable. And then I can go and hit accept. And that is that. This process is going to take about five to ten minutes, depending on the complexity of your character. There's a lot of geometry rejigging and texture rejigging going on under the hood. So the character might also change a little bit of shape as the process goes through this. But then we're going to go and continue in Roblox Studio. Once the export is finished, just click OK and minimize that studio. We don't need it anymore. This is Elena, by the way. This is the character that I'm using. And let's head over into Roblox Studio. So on the other bridges that come from DAS, often there's an automation that kicks in, that kicks off the import process in the target application. That's not the case with DAS to Roblox. So we're going to have to go and open a few things manually. So on the avatar tab up here, head over to import 3D and then find the folder that you export things to. So in my case was on the desktop in the Roblox folder. And you'll find a bunch of FBXs and GLBs here. There's two really that we need. One is the avatar. So Elena, in my case, R15 avatar. That's the avatar format that Roblox use. And the other one is the Elena layered accessories. If you were to have a look in this directory here, then you can see that there's a few other things in here which are blend files. So feel free to open those up and examine them. In case you do need to make any last minute changes, you can certainly do that. And of course, extract FBXs from that if you want to. We only need the FBXs. So I'm going to start with my avatar here. Open that up. That brings up this dialog and that shows you a version of Elena or of your avatar. So there's some things that have happened here to make her more compatible with Roblox. So one thing is that some modesty textures have been applied. There is actually a texture folder in there where you can make these things yourself if you want to override them. And there's different eyebrows and eyelashes that have been applied here that work better with the model of the Roblox avatar. But everything can be left as it is. Hit import and that'll bring in your avatar. Hit close on successfully imported. And then you can go and move her to where you want her to be. Maybe over here a little bit. 
think that might be good. Oh yeah, one thing that we should discuss is in fact navigation inside of Roblox Studio and a scene like this. So it's a bit like in Unreal Engine really, you hold down the right mouse button and then move the mouse around. So right click and move the mouse to look around. As you do that, while you right click, WASD will move you forward, backwards, left and right. Q and E will get you down and up. And if you select something in your viewport, hit F to focus in on that selection. So I'm gonna go and focus in on Eleanor here. Move her over, yeah, maybe over here. And then let's go and bring in her clothing. So that happens also with the import 3D button here. And we're gonna go and use Eleanor layered accessories. This now looks, uh, well, like the clothing without the figure. Also in these little viewports here, right click and drag to rotate around the avatar, uh, scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out, and hold down the middle mouse button and drag, much like in Blender, to pan. That's how you move around. This is fine, we can just go and hit import and let Roblox Studio finish with that. Our next step is to turn every single item of clothing into a separate clothing, except clothing or accessory item. Right now, they're just an import, so to say, but they're not accessory items that we can attach to an avatar. So we need to go and make that happen. If you have a look into the Explorer window here, let's open this up here, the accessories, and we see all these things with a little ball icon there. Those are regular meshes, but they're not accessories. So to turn them into those, head over here so on the avatar tab the accessory fitting tool enable that most of these buttons by the way are toggles so if you don't see the explorer window just as an example that is on the view tab here and there's this explorer option here if you tick that off then there's no explorer window likewise with the properties window if you click that then there's this full screen but there's nothing else there so properties we want explorer we want those are under the view options and then on the avatar menu there's the accessory fitting tool open that up and then this opens up so now let's go start maybe from the bottom downwards here let's go and select the shoes here so either select them here or just select them from the explorer window I'll make them available here as part, Toon Girl 2 Flip Flops, hit next in the dialog, and then tell Roblox Studio what this is. So you see this little preview figure, and you can tell it this is in fact clothing. On the drop down here, you pick what that is. So shoes, they can come in as single shoes, like left shoe, right shoe. We can just pick right shoe, and it'll work out that that's in fact a pair. So another preview window opens up on this little mini character here, and in fact, he is now wearing the shoes sort of doesn't quite fit him but you get the picture so it's kind of kind of nice hit generate mesh part accessory and that will now turn our item into an actual accessory here this thing with a little hat and this is something that we can now fit to our real avatar it's essentially made a copy here so we still have the regular mesh and i'm going to go and delete mine just so that i know what i've converted what i haven't converted so we go and work our way through this so we go maybe with the we don't need to do the eyebrows and the eyelashes we already have that so maybe the hair next select the hair hit next and the hair is not clothing that is an accessory of course so let's select that in the drop down pick hair here it is hit next and same thing we get to see this little preview on this guy if you want to see what this looks like on other avatars you can also do that maybe here on the goblin select the goblin and then we have both the goblin and the little roblox boy next to one another and you can toggle what that accessory would look like on the other figure so also fits this guy goblin with hair who doesn't like that <laughs> it's a generation mesh part accessory and then we have done that that's perfect. Let's go and delete the hair from the initial import. Go to the bra. The bra is sort of like a shirt, I would imagine. That is, of course, clothing. And let's go and make that a shirt. So the reason why we have to pick all these things is because Roblox puts this in layers. So a coat or a jacket would be worn above a shirt, but maybe a t-shirt is worn underneath a shirt. So it goes and makes a mental note of that. And that's how Roblox deals with layered clothing. Let's go delete the bra from the initial import. And don't worry about the fact that these are now all over the place here. That's what we're going to go and fix, or it's going to fix that in a moment. Let's go to select the pants here. Those are the pants, very retro pants. Let's select next here in our accessory fitting tool. This is, of course, clothing. And we have a pants option here. Let's go and select that, hit next. 
and pants also fit our Roblox boy. Very good. And a goblin. Just want to make sure. Goblin with pants on. It's good stuff. Generate mesh part accessory. It looks a lot, but once you've done it a few times, it's really, we're, we're nearly there. The final thing is, in fact, the shirt click next and even though it is a shirt we do have a bra underneath it so i want to make sure the shirt is above the bra so i might just say this is now either a jacket or perhaps a sweater maybe it'll be a jacket let me call let me call this a jacket because it's something something that looks a bit like a jacket let's do that hit next and there it is that's that's what that looks like on little robox boy perfect we're nearly done. We have turned everything that we need into accessories. And in fact, I'm going to go and delete the whole folder here, the layered accessories, the original import, so that we now only left with these little things with hats here. So let's go and select all of them by selecting the first one, hold control down, select the next one, and then select everything that we need here, like all the five accessories that I had. Right click on this head over to copy and then go and select our main character here and on her entry right click and choose paste into and that'll now attach all these accessories onto our avatar and there it is perfect so that is now her with hair and with all the clothing so the only other thing that we need to do in order for her to be able to walk around in our level is let's go and disable our accessory fitting tool and choose our avatar setup tool. And the moment we do that, uh, we need to go and select her as well, our, our character. It will ask us again, hey, I've found a bunch of copied accessories here. I just don't exactly know what to do with that because I didn't quite remember. So we're gonna go and have to go and select this again. Uh, so the bra, I'm gonna say this is a shirt. The pants are of course pants. The shirt here, I'm gonna say is perhaps a jacket. And then we scroll down and we see the eyebrows here, Genesis 9 eyebrows. They are going to be eyebrows. And the Genesis eyelashes are going to be eyelashes. There we go. Once you hit OK, all of that magically snaps into place here in the sidebar. And look at that. There's already animations on there so she can blink. You can switch over to animations and then see what that looks like as she walks. There we go. That's not bad. You can also go and run very fast or jump we very good or climb something <laughs> very good like ladders and all that and then you can fall oh my god don't 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 fall or you can maybe she's landed in the water she swims that's perfect so this means our avatar is, is ready to rock so if you want to there's some warnings here let's not worry about that for now maybe we're going to cover that in another video like make fine tunes and adjustments and all that for now just this is still in the avatar setup window here click that little play icon that says test in experience as you do that Roblox Studio will let you go and use this avatar as somebody you can walk around with in this experience. And once again, W to walk forward while holding down your right mouse button to look around. And then she goes and looks around. So you can walk around, you can scroll the mouse wheel to go closer to your avatar. Very cool. Maybe you can interact with items if that is set up. That's, of course, logic that you have to build. So we're not going to go into that here. But if I approach this, this little capsule here, if I press E, then my avatar goes in there, sits down, and then I can go and control the capsule and maybe go roll down that slide again. So this is how you bring in your own characters with endless variety from Das Studio directly. Oh, boom. Into from Das Studio directly into Roblox Studio and build exciting experiences with it and also play 60 varieties of Cheese Escape because, you know, why, why wouldn't you? I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, then do let us know. Likewise, if you want to see other Das to Roblox videos, then please let us know in the comments. We do read them all. We don't often have time to get back to you, I'm afraid, but we do read them all. We do appreciate it when you say something. That's always really nice. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a lot of fun with Das to Roblox and stay creative. Bye-bye.